What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. This morning, as you can see, I got the boat all hooked up and I am ready to go out and do a little bit of day shooting. So if you guys are subscribed to the channel and you saw the last bow fishing video that I posted that we were out on the river during the day shooting some fish, you might remember that there was this lake I was trying to get to, one of two lakes that I was trying to get to, but it was not possible because there was a ton of down trees and I just could not make it up the stream to get access to this lake. Well, it turns out that there's a dirt road like this little like low key kind of like secret road that goes back to this lake and there's not really a launch there it's pretty much just like kind of the ditch but it looks like some people have put their boats in there before so my boat is nice and small and today I'm going to try to get my boat in this little lake that is like a runoff from the river and we are gonna hopefully find a bunch of fish in there so with that said I'm going to stop at the gas station we're gonna grab some gas and then we're gonna head down there and see if we can get the boat in the water and start shooting let's go Okay, step one complete. The road was open. We're going down this little gravel road here in the woods. As you can see, we got the river next to us. That is where we were shooting before when I was going miles up the river trying to find a spot to get into here and I couldn't. I did see the lake off the road a little bit and there's a ton of cattails on this lake and weedy stuff and just literally perfect conditions for carps. So let's hope that we can get the boat dumped in off the side of the road here just fine and get on this water because I think we are going to find some pretty good fish today. All right, well, I was able to launch the boat. That all went great. I just got back to, uh, I guess the first spot that we're gonna try, but at the same time, kind of the only spot. So this is what it looks like back here where I'm gonna shoot. The weeds kind of start in that corner and wrap all the way around this, pretty much a big bay, but it is super shallow here. I was coming in with the big motor and I was hitting bottom way out there. So it's only about, well, that deep, not even an arrow deep. Um, so it's pretty freaking shallow. You can see how far that mud goes up. That's about how deep the water is. But when I rolled in here, there was a bunch of boils and stuff, which is what I call when a fish takes off and you'll see all the mud in the water from where the fish took off. I know there's gonna be a good amount of fish in here. It's just gonna be very tough to see because this water is just as dark as the river, honestly. It's really, really freaking dark water and it's gonna be really hard to see these fish. One just took off right there. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear and a little more calm in by these cattails here. We do have a good wind, so this side of the lake should be calm and we should have some luck hopefully, but there are boils everywhere from fish taking off in here. It's just gonna be a matter of seeing the fish. Also, I went ahead and did the whole world a favor and I figured out that if you hold plus and minus button on this remote for like three seconds, you can switch the volume levels. So if you guys are subscribed and you watch my bow fishing videos, you probably get really annoyed by that trolling motor beeping every time I click the speed or shut it off. So that is silent now. Thank God that's not gonna beep anymore. All right, my motor's up as far as I can put it. It's like two inches deep. This is gonna suck. Oh my God. This might not go as good as I thought in here. All right, well, that's not gonna work. Time to push pull, I suppose. Dude, that is so freaking shallow. Okay, so new plan. We're gonna use this to push pull through this shallow water and just go slow through here because it's the only option we have. And if we come up on some fish, hopefully I can grab my bow in time and shoot one. But the trolling motor isn't going to work on this side. Also, there's two parts to this lake, two sides. We're on the north side right now. There is a south side of this lake also. That's where the stream comes in. So maybe that side will be deeper and we can have some luck over there. So if worse comes to worse and the fishing's not good over here, we'll just pull the boat out and bounce over to that other side. Hope we find something over there. But hopefully we find something on this side. One hour later. All right, I just pulled the boat out from the other side and put it in on the other side here of the road right there. And we're gonna try this side. The other side was way too shallow and murky and was just not working. I didn't shoot at a single fish. 
Okay, well this side's deeper at least. That's a good start. Still super murky on this side. This side is also the side that the stream runs out of. Um, the outlet of this little lake here. So that's where all the gar and stuff were that I was trying to shoot the other day. So hopefully this side of the lake produces some fish. Holy barn swallow nest. Buddy, chill under here. 400,000 barn swallers. Greasy. All right, well, wouldn't you know, just my luck, this was an epic fail. I thought this lake was gonna be loaded with fish, but it turns out pretty much the whole thing is like a max depth of two to maybe three feet, and you can't even get anywhere really that close to shore without hitting bottom. So that's an end to the fishing here. I'm not really sure what we wanna do. We're right by the river. We could go try to shoot fish on the river, or I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna pull the boat out of here, and then we're probably gonna go launch on the river, and we'll probably try to go find a new spot on the river because it's just not happening here. So with that said, I'm gonna pull the boat out of this lake, and then we are gonna head to the river, launch the boat, and go try to find something to do on the river. Let's go. Okay, well just my luck, my GoPro was not on. I came in this creek here. We just drove like, I don't even know, six, seven miles, something like that upriver from where we launched. It took forever, but I just shot a huge gar that was weighing on shore, a fat gar. And I got a scale on here, but it ended up whipping my arrow out of it, so that sucks. But we're in this creek, looks pretty good. It's a nice wide creek, and the water in here is a little more clear than the rest of the river. So hopefully we'll have some luck in here. Shot at one fish, saw some stirring up here. So hopefully this is gonna uh, change our luck. There's another one there. Oh my gosh, there's fish everywhere trying to get through these trees that are dammed up. They're splashing like crazy up there. Oh my gosh, those a ton of gar, they're feeding on minnows up there. All these bait fish. Well, now that I scared everything away, in a four mile radius. Let's try to get through these trees. How about that? That's actually really deep. Really deep. Wow, okay. So that's not gonna work. All right, well now that that's done. Hopefully, we find some fish up here. Oh, big carp, big carp. I thought that was a gar. Oh, holy crap. The thing was freaking huge. I almost just fell off the boat, so that's lit. Alright, this is where the fish are going to be if they're anywhere. This could get greasy, greasy, greasy. Oh, there's fish in here already. That is what we like to see. Of course, now it's like in the evening, so the sun is 
behind clouds and just like going down. So it's gonna be way harder to see these fish. The water's just so murky, you can't freaking see anything. Oh my gosh, look at all those carp. That's all carp. I just randomly shot. Oh, look at all the tails. This is all carp tails. Okay, okay. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, big common, big common. Woo, that's a big common. Yeah. Oh, finally, that took a long freaking time. You cannot see anything in here, but that's a big freaking common. That's a nice fish, nice first fish for sure. What? How did that get off? This would be crazy to see if this was clear, I know that. There are just thousands of carp in here. It's crazy. Oh. Gar. Okay, well, it is about six o'clock right now and this sun has like absolutely no power for shining into the water. It's just kind of shining at an angle at it and you can't really see absolutely anything. It's been like that pretty much the whole time since I've gotten out here. So it's super hard to see these fish. As you guys could see, there was fish everywhere. Like no matter where I went back there, there was a ton of fish. Unfortunately, I only got one carp. I think if we came here on a day when the sun was up around like noon, one o'clock, when the sun was really shining in the water, it would make things a lot easier. But we are going to head on down this creek here and see if we can pick a couple more up on the shoreline. And then once we get to those trees, we'll see if those gar are there and maybe shoot a couple gar down there. There's still a ton of gar in here. They're just so hard to see. All right, you guys, well, unfortunately, uh, we only ended up with those few fish. Today was not that good at all, but at least we did find another good spot back here where we will come earlier in the day next time straight to this spot and try to shoot back there. Maybe tomorrow or the day after that's gonna be really nice and sunny, and I think we can do very good back there. So hopefully the next bow fishing video is going to be super good and we can shoot a bunch of fish because the last few bow fishing videos, we haven't really gotten on them too good. Uh, the bow 
fishing at night and during the day has been very tough at this time of the year right now around us. But I'm gonna sit here and fish for some of these gar. They are going nuts in here right now and I wanna try to catch a couple. So for today's video, that is going to wrap things up. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. And we will see you all on the next one. See ya!